Okay. Okay. It's a story that we have been telling in the last months. It's a, a way to explain the relation of Fora do Eixo with the Brazilian music. It's good to to can see more clear the moment that we are living now, and as I told you, it's a fairy tale, uh, a love fairy tale, and this love fairy tale it started symbolically in a party that was organized by Gilberto Gil when he he became minister of the culture, and one of the most beautiful girls of this party was the Brazilian music. She was one of the the the, the most beautiful girls and she was like a middle-aged girl and she was a, in a crisis middle-aged girls because she has just break up with a long marriage that he she used to had with Mr. Industry you know so she was single in the party and for the first time in a long while she was finally single in the party and she was there and she was very beautiful and everybody wants to be close to her. And Fora do Eixo was like a young guy that was working in the production and in a certain moment took it out his, you know, his credentials and go to the party to feel that vibe. And we, we, we had a moment of uh, OZD, you know, like of courage that we, we, we try to, to conquire this beautiful woman like hey come on what's up and in the first moment like she doesn't give a, a shit like ah come on fuck you and then we we got kind of obsessive with this conquire you know which we had to to took her attention and this obsession in a network that was growing up it, it makes like uh, it makes that all the structures that were being created in that moment was developed by to to this conquire you know to to make her happy and she started to get convinced like mm, maybe those guys are, are kind of interesting and she started to to call us to hang out and she started to show us and to present her uh, us to her rich parties, to her rich friends, and she knew lots of people in media, and she started to call us to this ambient too, and we started to appear there. And in a certain moment, she announced us as official boyfriend, you know? And when a celebrity announced an official boyfriend, the whole thing gets like, oh, what's happening here? Everybody wants to know about it. And then you have some, discussions about the relation and these discussions became public and everybody st stays talking about that you know like the others wants to know wants to know and you have to 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 handle with this exposition and things was going like for a couple of years in a very intense love story in a very intense relation and for the issue that was like a young boy grew up a little bit and now it's a man like and in a certain moment she called us and she told us something like okay guys you are incredible like I love you but uh, you don't need to keep me telling me what I have to need uh, what I have to do in every moment you talk me too much what I have to do and I'm the Brazilian music you are fora do eixo so Okay, we love each other, but you don't need to keep telling me every time what to do. And when she told us that, we fought for a second, but then we told her, okay, it's fine that you are coming with that, because you, you, you need to know that you are a very difficult girl, like you are too jealous, you are very... Uh, we have, we have to make you happy every time. You don't content yourself with the, with few things. You always want too much, and you are, uh, when you say uh, it's ingrata, like 
you are not a thankful girl, you know? You, you, you don't recognize what we are giving you in. So we have a purpose. We're gonna, we, we, we want to go for a, an open relationship. That's what we propose her. And then she told us, okay, uh, it's fine for me, but what is this open relationship? It doesn't mean that it's going to end. And the opposite. It means that we're going to keep it. And with a few meetings, you, have, you can make it a few meetings being so strong as the whole years passing together. Word. So we don't need to work anymore with the middle of the thing. We can focus on uh, the strategical actions like special festivals, with release new products, with uh, work in strategical tours, and there's a whole world of bands that created unexpected, like oh how I'm going to work, how I'm going to work with these guys, and we are going to create like a web platform to them. It's more than we did it with Talking no Brasil. It's something bigger. It's very based on what we learned with Sonic Beats, for example. But we can create today in Brazil a kind of online software where a band can get in and make his own career plan. You know, something like, uh, okay, I have 5,000 reais that I can invert on that. I can go to north northeast of Brazil. I want to play, I, I, I accept to play in free spaces, in universities, I can sleep in the house of the other bands, I can have my bill for the percentage of like, you know, people pay to get in and a part of that comes to me, don't need to be everything, okay, I'm fine, enter. Then he, she will, the band will have like 30 options to plan his Northeast tour 2012. Or the band can put some options like, okay, I just play in festivals, I, I need to earn like uh, 2,000 mil reais to play, I just sleep in hotels, and I just travel by plane, enter. Then she will have like five options, you know? And we're going to, to, to release this, this website until December. This is one point. The other point is to, to make stronger the relation with Latin America. Uh, we are connecting lots of countries and we want to bring these bands from Venezuela, Argentina, Colombia to tour Brazil and we want to release like compilations with Latin American music in Brazil. We need to do that because the Brazilian music is being very accepted but we need like some affirmative political to Brazilian people start to listen more Latin music. So it's very nice because the band will come to a tour and she will be releasing like compilation with his work. This is the second point. The third point is the network of festivals. The, the whole thing that I was talking about, Abrafin, that now it's the Brazilian network of festivals. It's a calendar from July to December, 107 festivals, one per week, one per week, one per week. And the other part, it's the, band, the, the band's agency that we have already tried two models, one working with management, one working with booking, and now we are going to work as consultants, you know, like we can sit with the band, we can open a Brazilian map, we can show the hot spots, we can help to plan, but we will not create expectatives that we are the managers. No, we are just consultants, so we can set the expectative in a high level and planning together with a bigger number of bands. So this is cut. This is, uh, this is the place. There's a lot going on. Yeah. This, the, 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 the love fairy tale is very nice. Like, it's yeah. this. It really happened. It really happened. Que tal? Chegaram. Ah,